What's up, guys? Welcome to Everything Pickleball. So I'm excited to be talking about the best beginner paddle that I think you can buy on the market today, and that is the Vatic Prism Flash 16 millimeter. This paddle offers so much for what it costs. I just don't think there's another paddle that competes with it. And I think it's interesting that other companies haven't made a version of their own, you know, similar specs, but this paddle is just so good. It's like right there in between a Gen 1 and Thermoform paddles. And because of that, it just does so many things well. And it's crazy how good this paddle is for what it costs. And for beginners or people buying their second paddle, I just don't think you can go wrong. You don't even have to watch the in-depth part of the review. Just go ahead and purchase this paddle if you've been on the fence and you know it's your second paddle, just bite the bullet. You're gonna like it. It's gonna be a great paddle to keep in the bag. Now for more advanced players, I do think there are some shortfalls because it is a control paddle. And if you look at it through the lens of what a control paddle should do, this paddle does those things really, really good. So I think it is a solid control paddle, but if you're looking for something with a little more power and pop, it's probably not gonna have everything that you're looking for. So stick around for my in-depth review. All right, guys, so before we get into the review, I just gotta say special thanks to everybody who has liked, subscribed, and commented on my last video. In my last one, I did the Kiwi Lab Slice, and I did give away a Kiwi Slice for anybody who followed me on Instagram. The guy who won that has already received it and is currently playing with it. Hopefully, I'll get an update on whether he likes that paddle here soon. I have been working really hard on my Instagram as well as making a link tree. So it's easy for you guys. It'll be in the description. It's a link now. It's like a single web page that has all of my affiliate links. So if you are debating on a couple different paddles, then hopefully I have an affiliate link that will help you save some money. And then the next big thing that I've been working on as well is a promotional video for an apparel company that is from my hometown. I have put that video at the end of this video and I will hopefully timestamp it so you can jump right to it if you're just interested in what that is and you're not interested in watching the rest of the review video. That is perfectly fine. I just hope you guys check them out. They're called Good Get and I do love their stuff and I'm not just saying that because they're from my hometown. I do think they actually make some quality pickleball apparel. So I encourage you guys to check them out and check out the video I made for them. Before I get started, I want to emphasize I am specifically talking about the 16 millimeter version. I do briefly mention the 14 millimeter later on in this review, but I would recommend the 16 millimeter version 99% of the time over the 14 millimeter. What is the Vatic Prism Flash? A solid control paddle with a very affordable price tag. This paddle has a fair amount of power and okay pop. And if that isn't good enough, this paddle has crazy good spin at over 1900 RPMs placing it in the top 5% tested by Pickleball Studio. The Vatic Prism Flash is a hybrid shape paddle. You guys already know I'm a huge fan of hybrid shape paddles, and this is the same mold as the Double Black Diamond from Sig Zero, which is already one of my favorites. The paddle face is raw carbon fiber, which is why you can generate so much spin. But because this paddle is not thermoform, you don't have to worry about core crushing. If you don't know what that means, just know this paddle will last you a while without having any durability issues. The paddle is listed on its website for $99. If you use the link in the description and the discount code EVERYTHINGPB at checkout, you can get $10 off. The paddle does come with a paddle cover and at under $100, this paddle is an absolute steal. So how does the Prism play? The Prism is great around the kitchen and the transition zone. The paddle has a nice plush feel, which can be great for dinking, resets, drops, and blocks. The guy that got me into pickleball, who is also my doubles partner, has been playing with this paddle for a few months. I noticed he drops the ball a lot more while using this paddle. Because it's a control paddle, you will have to work on placement over power. That's not to say you can't generate power. I do believe this paddle has a fair amount of power, but it does require fast swings. The paddle has okay pop for speed ups, flicks, and hands battles, but it won't be enough to make overheads a big factor for most people. I found it harder to put away high balls when playing above the 4-0 level. This paddle is a control paddle, so don't expect too much while on offense. 
you will have to learn to move your opponents around to create openings for putaways. That being said, because this pedal has so much spin, drive drops can be really effective. The sweet spot is quite large for a non-thermoform paddle, and the paddle feels really good when you do hit the sweet spot. The 16mm is very forgiving and on par with some of the best thermoform paddles. I do think this paddle will benefit from lead tape. By adding just about 3 inches on the sides of the paddle, you can add quite a bit of stability to this paddle. But. And this is a big but. Do not buy the 14 millimeter expecting it to perform the same while thinking it will have just a little more pop. I did play test the 14 millimeter and I was not able to tolerate it for more than two nights. The paddle lacked serious control and forgiveness when compared to the 16 millimeter. I would not recommend it to most players. Even at this price point, if you want more pop, just spend the extra money to buy a thermoform paddle and thank me later. The reason I say that is because thermoform paddles will give you the extra pop without sacrificing the sweet spot and forgiveness. If you're wondering what I would recommend, I suggest checking out my reviews on the Kiwi Lab Slice and the 60 Double Black Diamond. The links will be in the description below if you're interested in either one of those paddles. For my final thoughts, I'm going to start off with the Vatic Prism Flash 16mm is such a good paddle for beginners and intermediate players who are looking to upgrade from their first paddle or someone who hasn't even bought a paddle at all yet. And it's also a great spare paddle to lend to your friends and family when they come visit you or you're trying to talk your buddy into playing pickleball because it has so much spin you know, it allows them to get some features that you wouldn't get out of a lower end paddle. So I think it's a great spare. I'm keeping it as a spare. It's the paddle that I will lend out to friends and family who I'm trying to convince to play pickleball. And so that will be the reason I keep it. But it's also a super good control paddle. So if you haven't bought a control paddle or you don't have one in the bag already, this is a great one to go out and buy so you can learn some shots, learn to reset, drop, and dink. This paddle will take you very far. I think you can be effective all the way up to 5.0 with this paddle, and I'm sure there are players playing 5.0 with this paddle. I just don't think that a 5.0 player will get as much out of this paddle as a beginner would, and that's why I'm deeming this the best beginner paddle. I do think 5.0 or above players will benefit, or even 4.0 and above players will benefit more from a thermoform paddle because they already probably have the touch part of the game down. Uh, you will just benefit from having more power and pop at your fingertips so you don't have to work as hard to get points. And so that's why I still play with a thermoform paddle over this one, but it has taught me a lot of shots. I enjoy playing with it every time. I like playing it with it because you can swing really hard and know that the ball is not going to be flying out the back all the time, and that makes it fun. You can be really aggressive with this paddle and know that you're not going to be hitting it out as much as you would a thermoform paddle. So there are some advantages to having a control paddle, obviously, and this one will help you a lot if you haven't bought a control paddle. But if you're a beginner and you're looking for a second paddle, look no further. This is by far the best bang for the buck that you can get. I want to introduce you all to Good Get. A familiar phrase used on the courts is now a high quality pickleball apparel company that started in my hometown. Taking inspiration from Bird Dog and other popular brands, it took them over a year to develop their first product line. Whether you want some clothes to impress your doubles partner or just some quality athletic wear that is made for the courts, you need to check out Good Get. I bought a pair of their line shorts while on sale to test them out. They are now my favorite shorts and I ended up buying every color. They have plenty to offer both men and women, so if it's not for you, they have some great products that can be presents for your significant other, family, or your doubles partner who just carried you in that last tournament. I hope you all check them out. I have a link in the description below and a 15% off coupon code for all my viewers. I was not paid to make this video and I did this because I believe in their brand and I want them to succeed. I love that Pickleball is allowing people to create so many small businesses. Pickleball has been good to me and this is a good way for me to give back. That's a wrap. Up next is the 6-0 Black Diamond. And if you're curious about what is in the queue, then check out my Instagram.